Welcome back traders. Happy to have you here today. In this short video, I'll show you how to build a powerful trading strategy with the range sentiment profile indicator to detect trade opportunities in the market. The range sentiment profile indicator is inspired by the volume profile and aims to indicate the degree of bullish bearish variations within equidistant price areas inside the most recent price range. I believe trading should be made simple and not to be rocket science. This indicator's working concepts are simple to understand, thereby making it one of the best trading indicators beginners can use to build a consistent and reliable trading strategy in the market. To apply this indicator on the trading chart, search the keyword the range sentiment profile and select the range sentiment profile indicator on the trading view indicator folder here. As we can see, here is the trading indicator. How does this trading indicator work in the market? The most bullish, bearish price areas are highlighted through lines extending over the entire range. This tool can be used to easily determine if a certain price area contains more significant bullish or bearish price variations. This is done by obtaining an estimate of the accumulation of all the close to open variations occurring within a specific profile area. It can be of interest to see where profile bins might have no length. These can indicate price areas with price variations with alternating signs. Bullish variations are followed by a bearish sign and similar body. They can also indicate a majority of either bullish or bearish variations alongside a minority of more significant opposite variations. These areas can also provide support resistance as such pricing entering these areas could reverse. The range sentiment profile's design is similar to the way a volume profile is constructed. First, the maximum minimum values over the most recent length bars are obtained. These define the calculation range of the profile. The range is divided into rows of equidistant areas. Whenever the price lies within a specific area, if it's the case we accumulate the difference between the closing and opening price for that specific area. Let the difference equal close minus open. The length of the bin associated with a specific area is determined as follows. Length equals width divided by 100 multiplied by area, max. Where area is the accumulated D within the area and max is the maximum value between the absolute value of each accumulated D of all areas. The percentage visible on each bin is determined as 100 multiplied by the accumulated difference within the area divided by the total absolute value of difference over the entire range. For the intrabar calculation, when using intrabar data, the range sentiment profile is calculated differently. For a specific area and candle within the interval, the accumulated close to open difference is accumulated only if the intrabar candle of the user selected time frame lies within the area. This can return more precise results compared to the standard method at the cost of a higher computation time. To buy with this indicator for the continuation of an uptrend? Step 1. Watch out for a trending bullish market. Step 2. Patiently wait for the price to make a bearish pullback in the uptrend. Step 3. Watch out for a blue range background color to be formed on the price chart. Step 4. Watch out for a strong bullish close above the bullish bin maximum area. Step 5. Buy the close of the strong bullish close of the candlestick above the bullish bin maximum area. Place stop loss at some distance lower than the swing higher low in the bullish. Exit the buy setup whenever the indicator is transformed to an orange background color. To sell with this indicator for the continuation of a downtrend, step 1. Watch out for a trending bearish market.
Step 2. Patiently wait for the price to make a bullish pullback in the downtrend. Step 3. Watch out for an orange background color to be formed on the price chart. Step 5. Sell the close of strong bearish close of the candlestick below the bearish bin maximum area. Place stop loss at some distance higher than the swing lower high in the bearish trend. Exit the buy setup whenever the indicator is transformed to a blue background color. You can see this indicator is one of the best and easiest trading indicators for swing trading strategy. Remember, in order to have a high winning probability, make sure you implement it to trade a trending market. Thank you.